The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome to yet another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. Doesn't matter where you're at, as long as you're here at this time. And as always, that's the most important thing. <clears throat> the following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. And what do we do today? Well, uh, what do we have? Yeah, we got a little bit of action earlier in the day uh, when uh, we had some news. Uh, and I can't remember it, but man, it was driving me nuts. I tried to look it up before the show. But I think it was around 1976 on Saturday Night Live. Uh, Chevy Chase would open up with something like... Um, the Mideast is on fire, film at 11 or something like that. But I can't remember what it was, but it was kind of snappy. And it was kind of a, a joke on nothing ever changes in the Mideast. But uh, I'll find it eventually. Maybe somebody in the den or the email. Uh, but all I, I just remember it was rather snappy about things are usual. But, of course, uh, I don't know what it was, 11 or so uh, to 12 o'clock, we found out that the Hooties... Uh, Houthis, who's Houthis on first, Yemen's on second, the Saudis on third, first base. All I remember, anyway. Uh, certainly, uh, that moved the market for a little while. I suspect that we're uh, trying to make a very significant top in the marketplace. So, we did sell off earlier on that. Everybody uh, is diving back in. But um, always uh, these kind of euphoric uh, moves in the market where literally nothing can be taken um, as a sign of bad news always makes me think that the other shoe is going to drop and there's going to be that one last blade of straw that's going to go on the camel's back and snap it. But, uh, you know, Fridays, Wednesdays are excellent days uh, in comparison to the rest. I wrote it in my newsletter, but I did a study I don't know, it's been a few years ago, but it was uh, there was an article in, I think it was in Stocks and Commodities, can't remember exactly, but it was a long time ago. Anyway, I wanted to do the study again on which days were more than likely to see highs and which ones were lows uh, that you could be bought. Lows can happen just about any time, but uh, for Friday and Wednesday making two-fifths of the week, so you would think, what, 40% of highs should come if it was actually random. Uh, it was more like 65% of uh, short and even midterm highs uh, came on uh, Wednesdays uh, after 2 and Friday after 2. So there is kind of a, this thing, and even Friday a little bit more than, than Wednesday, but not significant. I think it was about 3% more on Fridays and so you always have to watch out as uh, Tim Ward likes to say I think did he say yesterday but no, I don't think so maybe a couple of weeks ago so they like to make you sweat all weekend long and that's I think we're coming to that level where we can start seeing uh, that but uh, I don't know we'll watch the close but I suspect that I will be uh, short some stuff uh, come the close if uh, volume continues to be rather uh, peckish. Uh, we're only doing about 7.6 billion shares so far. We really needed to be doing something in the neighborhood of about 12 billion right now. So about 50% under what I was looking at. And it doesn't mean that uh, it just turns around before the end of the day. Like I said, we had uh, almost nobody short the market. We had a bunch of people short yesterday. And generally, the market gives it up when the shorts can't pull the trigger anymore. So we get a big slide before the end of the day, a good sign or no sign. But uh, by Monday, if we have a fairly big reversal, I think the die is cast. 
We will have crossed the Rubicon, and I will have won yet another award for mixed metaphors. 877-927-6648. Yes, back when SNL was actually funny. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's it. Um, I can't remember what he said. It was a film, uh, uh, Middle East in Flames, film at 11. Can't remember. But I think uh, it was something like that. Uh, other things going on. Um, they're running this again, and we talked about it uh, about a week, maybe ten days ago. Uh, and the, it's you know we've got the SMHs down about half a percent, so I don't think a, a lot. Um, they came down with the general market right around that eleven o'clock uh, hour uh, when the Hooties. Uh, wasn't that a band? Something in the Hooties. Blowfish. And hooties, or was it cooties? Anyway, I do digress, and I'm going to win that award also. Anyway, uh, there was a lot of talk about not uh, having any xenon gas. Now, if you listen to Taiwan Semiconductor, um, they say that they've gone back to recycling the xenon gas. It was so cheap uh, before that they just never even bothered on it. Um, some companies actually had... It already moved to it, but I don't think um, uh, Taiwan Semi had, and that was recycling the gas, just filtering it out uh, in the impurities that build up after about every two weeks. Uh, but each laser needs about two liters of uh, of uh, xenon gas at uh, at room pressure, if I remember reading the article correctly. Uh, anyway, that xenon gas powers the lasers, which etch uh, the uh, silicon wafers. And uh, then they, it's kind of like a screen printing thing, but of course, uh, we're talking about it almost at, uh, you know, screen prints at almost, uh, you know, five to ten atoms apart. Pretty, pretty close. Um, so anyway, these uh, xenon layers, uh, they spark a, they throw in aluminum hit the laser with it, and the, la the laser vaporizes the aluminum, and then that stuff is sprayed onto the silicon wafers. It's all quite complicated. And if you spend enough time on it, your uh, eyes will start bleeding and your ears uh, will explode. The only thing you can do at that point is just wrap your head in duct tape and continue on in getting uh, in on the quantum level events that are uh, everything Silicon Valley these days for actual hardware. Uh, but uh, you know what? It's a, Taiwan Semi says that they're already uh, evacuating the gas and recycling it. It's not going to be a big problem. But I saw them pushing that again today. Doesn't mean Taiwan Semiconductor told the truth. Uh, but maybe it's a bit of a problem for some of the people that didn't get on board with the recycling of xenon gas. But uh, my understanding is 95% of it can be recycled. It was just too expensive to do it before. But now everybody may be doing it. But, uh, need it for the lasers, attach the silicon to actually make the chips. So it's a uh, supply stream thing. We'll see. Uh, anyway, off a half percent on the Back. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. And uh, comments uh, in the den about me not being 100% accurate on uh uh, on technical stuff and i try to explain it uh, i think it was uh, einstein who said if you really know stuff well enough uh, you can explain it to an eight-year-old well i don't think that's true for everything but uh, i try to get the meaning across and not uh, have people try to uh, graduate from uh, a master's degree in uh, quantum physics because it does get a lot in the weeds i try to explain it uh, not entirely accurately but for what you need to know if you're going to trade something. I figure if the people already have a Ph.D. in quantum physics, they don't need me to explain it. It's the people that uh, may have uh, other fields that they know a lot about, but electronics, software, maybe not so much. So I get the meaning across. But, uh, nah, are you going to pass any tests uh, at college with it? Probably not. But that is not my intention. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, interesting enough. Anyway, uh, as I said uh, before we took the break, uh, keep an eye on this. But uh, anything happen like uh, we get... Uh, a lower close out here, which I'm kind of watching. Um, keep an eye on it. I think everybody's kind of whistling past the graveyard. Every time uh, something looks worse, they figure that it, it's uh, a chance for the Fed not to raise rates. And I think the Fed's out there throwing fastballs at your head, trying to get you off the plate. And uh, eh, you just keep whistling past the graveyard. Uh, 877-927-6648. We've got some emails, which we'll get to. Two, two, two. Uh, in the meantime, let's uh, do a little history. Then it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 1959, Texas Instruments demonstrates the first integrated circuit. Its inventor, Jack Kilby, created a device to prove that resistors and capacitors could live in harmony like ebony and ivory, could exist on the same piece of semiconductor material. That song didn't go very well. I cheaply 
ripped them off. And it never hit the top 10. His circuit consisted of a sliver of geranium with five components linked by wires. It was the Fairchild's Robert Noyce, however, filed for a patent today in 1959 and who made the IC a commercial viable technology. Both men are co-created, -cre uh, uh, co-credited as the co-inventors of the integrated circuit on this day in 1959. Uh, two, two, two. What else do we have? Ebony and Ivory, and uh, oh, we've got the band here, Blowy and the Hootfish. So that was uh, that was it. Okay, we've had enough fun now. It's time to go onwards and upper upwards. Um, not uncommon for Friday to make you, know, you sweat if you're thinking that you've got a top, and this is Friday is no different, but we'll keep a close eye on it. Anyway, uh, to the emails. We have... Uh, You've got mail, baby, yeah. I got mail, baby. Okay, this is from Tim. Um, what's your opinion on Amazon? A-M-Z-N. Um, is it time to look for a short opportunity? Well, you wanted to have less than 3 million shares, and you kind of tied it. You're not breaking out here. You're not breaking down. See what the energy look like on the way up. Um, actually, the energy on the way up is a little bit better than on the way down. Uh, at the highs, we're basically matching the 3.4 million shares we had on February 9th. It's gone three days out here, which is generally a signal to sell, but not short. You've got three dojis. So Monday is going to be... If, this ends up being what it is. Monday is going to be a huge day. I'd get up early, and if this thing is weak, then it's probably going to roll over. And if this thing is up a little bit, uh, you might have a little bit more. I'd like it if the volume uh, was very light. And let's see, what do we have here? I think it's oh, oh is it? No? Uh, control W. That's what it is. Okay. So you had 2.8 million shares yesterday. You got 1.5 million shares today. Um, you know, you, the problem is you did enough volume up to the 23rd, but you've just gone sideways and volume's falling out, but the stock is not retreating. Maybe something happens before the end of the day. I don't think so. But, uh, you know, I don't think there's a whole lot of reasons to get in front of this. I'd wait till Monday if it starts heading down Monday uh, and you're long, you want to get out. If you want to short this thing, uh, you got a gap right around 29, 25-ish back here, which would just be like a 618 retracement. Um, the energy is not bad, though, off that March 8th low. Uh, everybody's crowded back into the usual suspects like Amazon, Microsoft, Apple, uh, NVIDIA, and uh, AMD. So not much else happening there. Okay, let's move this around. i got to keep moving stuff around because it keeps on getting covered up. Uh, two, 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 okay. So we've got that. Um, yeah, I'd say wait till Monday and make a decision. I don't see anything but three dojis out here. Um, but you don't have it clear. If it had three dojis and I had 1.5 million shares the last five days, I'd be thinking, well, I'd, I'd sell it if I was long. But you had more energy off the lows coming up. So, and you had a lower volume on the previous low. So there's probably better uh, candidates be for being short than Amazon, um, especially since I just ordered a bunch of stuff from them today uh, and ordered a whole bunch of stuff from Sam's Club that I'm going to pick up. I've gone full prepper after uh, the, uh, after the uh, uh, Hooties and the Blowfishes uh, attacked uh, the oil fields of Saudi Arabia. Uh, but uh, interesting enough, uh, you just wonder how well all these people are connected because last night Goldman Sachs, uh, and I think parroted by Morgan Stanley, uh, started trying to uh, conjole the uh, president into reversing his stance on uh, producing energy uh, in the United States. And uh, you never know, maybe enough people keep talking maybe he'll he'll change his mind but uh doesn't seem like a whole lot other than us selling natural gas uh to the uh, germans 
that's uh, changed uh, in the last few weeks, other than Merkel kind of looks like an idiot now for making a deal with the devil. Uh, to, 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 okay, so that's it. Um, I'd make a decision on Monday. I don't think you have enough information on Amazon now. Uh, <laughs> any last uh, minute things on Apple uh, or Workday? Um, I didn't see any. Um, doesn't mean there aren't any. I'll look at them during the break. Um, Apple, you're back up to the previous high, but I think that may be all you get. I think this isn't a big trading range. Could you get to 177 on Apple? Maybe. Uh, but maybe a, just a bigger trading range out here. We'll be back in a minute. fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And as we uh, come back for the second half of the show... Got some more emails here somewhere. Okay. Uh, let's take a quick look at Workday. Uh, I was interested in this one this morning uh, just because it had uh, some incredible short action yesterday. It was the most hated stock with about 40% of uh, the shares shorted. So I wasn't surprised when it popped a little bit today. I was hoping for it to open up lower and maybe move higher. Uh, it's just more of a, 
uh, engulfing candle of the day before. So I don't see a lot. Volume's fairly light. Uh, but, uh, yeah, not everybody getting all excited about this one. It didn't really ever start moving. So don't see any reason to go for this one on an options expiration play today, Eddie. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the rest of the usual suspects. By the way, one of the best movies ever. Uh, and, of course, we've got the Oscars this weekend. And maybe there's two good movies for this year. Maybe, I'm thinking. I think uh, Belfast, one of the good movies. Uh, the Power of the Dog, maybe the other one. I don't think there's anything else that was good. Maybe somebody else will email me and say that there was something good this year other than those two movies. But I think that was about it. Belfast, yeah, excellent movie. And uh, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, two, two, two. Uh, what do we have? Uh, okay, so on Microsoft, uh, Kaiser so say. <laughs> if you haven't seen that movie, you've missed one of the best well-written movies of all time. But that was that. That was an excellent movie. Spoiler alert, it was 25 years ago. But uh, still one of the best ensemble casts and great writing. Uh, to, to, to Microsoft. Okay, we're back down to the gap. That was on February 10th. You gap down with 45 million shares. You're up today in that with about 14. As I said, you got to like these double gaps. They get hit so much. Could you get 308, 309 out of Microsoft? You could, but I think that's very close uh, to what we're looking at. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, we'll go take a look here. Just want to make sure there was no earnings on it. Okay. Other thing going on out here, MSFT, uh, no, Netflix, NFLX, of course, raising the prices again. Um, hadn't really done anything for it. Uh, you do have a fairly nice high volume low on January 24th that was exceeded. It had 30, let's call it 32 million shares on January 24th that you got into with 6 million shares. You're back into the trading range. But anytime you get such a, a absolute whack as you did this thing uh, being off the top, what was it, 600 and some odd bucks, 799, uh, and you get a haircut by 50%. Uh, there's going to be consolidation. It isn't just going to be a V bottom out here. Uh, we've talked about all the problems in Hollywood, just because I keep re uh, reading all the stuff when I was in that industry, uh, about uh, just production problems, uh, higher prices for scripts and uh, actors. You would think, because there's so many more actors out there now, that uh, the prices would go down. They're just doing more movies. And they're just splitting up the viewership. And, of course, the problem with all the new movies is there aren't enough sound stages to record them on. And, of course, prices have gone up there. So people are filming movies in the middle of the night. And then you have to pay all the union uh, folk about three times more. And, of course, uh, if you've ever watched a television show called TMZ at night, nobody, I'd, I'd say probably 10% of what people watch that show know what tmz it stands for a 30 mile zone and that is if you go outside that zone you have to pay uh, a lot of money both to the union workers and the uh and the uh actors and everybody uh to go outside that zone so uh, anytime you see something it's generally filmed within that 30 mile range uh but uh Netflix has got a lot of problems out here. That whole 30-mile range is incredibly expensive, and it's more expensive to move out of it. So there aren't a lot of good opportunities. Uh, Amazon not kind of in the same thing, which I think less than 3% or 4% of their total income has anything to do with uh, video, either selling it on Amazon or actually uh, people subscribing uh, because they have uh, Amazon, uh, yeah, Amazon Prime. Uh, so a very small part of a big pie at Amazon, a very huge pop part of the pie at Netflix. Uh, but uh, from lower quality shows to having to produce from more countries to uh, the overall price going up higher, I think you, you, what you really would like to see is a retest of 351 once again 
with very light volume and maybe a couple of weeks out. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, let's go back to the action. Okay. And just looking out here on seeing what people are saying. Doesn't look like anything worth paying attention to. Uh, is that right? Are we off? Hey, we're up 14 points. Okay, up 14 points on the S&P cash. Dow's up 85. NASDAQ still off 40. And uh, 8 billion, eh, only 8.1 billion shares. Okay, other stocks uh, in this vein of uh, that uh, Netflix, Microsoft. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, fascist book or Metamucil, as I like to call them. Um, you've had a bounce out here, but I think maybe this is all you get. Again, a doji out here. This thing, uh, if it could, uh, if it starts heading lower on Monday, I think you may have gotten all of the first bounce. One of the things I didn't talk about but wanted to also is uh, that I didn't bring up, um, and it's not on my list. I forgot to put it on it. Is the uh, uh, chain or the uh, laws that got passed uh, in uh, Europe uh, overnight, actually our morning. But this morning they they passed a lot of restrictions in what Facebook, Apple, Google, and the rest of the bunch. In fact, we didn't look at Google yet. Um, but uh, there are some very draconian, not undeserved, uh, new regulations. And if they continue to violate them, as they have in the past, um, the fines could be as much as 10% of the revenue of the entire company. So uh, whatever they're doing, if they're doing uh, ha uh, half a trillion dollars a year, like Amazon or, uh, or uh, Apple, um, the fines could be in the range of $50 billion a year. Um, up and above what they've got going on right now. We've got a doji out here on Google right at the top of a gap down. That gap down happened on about twice the volume we have today. We'll be back at Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. This thing says I've got new email, but for the our new messages, but for the life of me, I can't find any of them. We'll find them eventually in the help center. Maybe that's it. Okay, these are new videos. Okay, so I think I've got all my emails answered in the Tiger's Den. Uh, we're going to go to a question from Repeat. Should I chase CLVR? These high school boys and girls are having a hop at the local soda fountain. Innocently, they dance. Innocent of a new and deadly menace lurking behind closed doors. Marijuana, the burning weed with its roots in hell. In this film, you will see the ease with which this vicious plant can be grown in your neighbor's yard, rolled into harmless-looking cigarettes hidden in an innocent shoe or watch case. Oh, I love that movie. Uh, Reefer Madness. Ah, anyway, uh, Clever Leaves. Question, should I chase it? And uh, I would say yesterday was the day you were supposed to buy if you were going to buy it. The thing went sideways. It busted out with two or three times the volume. Uh, no, I would not chase it. Yesterday was the day to get in. You, you know, when you get these big moves, if you don't get in early, I'm not a big fan of chasing these down the street. 53 million shares. I have no idea what the news is on these, but uh, they've been kind of acting sparky. Uh, there may be no news. It may just be 100% shorting. But a stock that trades around a buck and has less than 500,000 shares a day is one that just sounds to me like a giant bear trap. Uh, and uh, a little folk next to it saying, just put your foot in the trap. Put your head in the lion's mouth. Just, uh, eh, yeah, just uh, light the stick of dynamite and hold it there for me. I'm not a big fan of that, but I uh, may look around. the. When you see this, you may start wanting to look in the rest of the uh, uh, the uh, great, uh, what, what would I call this? The great uh, marijuana industrial complex, but certainly a lot of volume out here but uh, you know there's so many of these stocks uh when you get into highs like now that i think are there that just really run and they're dogs that's almost a good sign that the end is nigh for the general market so i'll keep a look on it uh yeah robin hood or penny scam could be you just never really know but uh you know everybody gets short these stupid stocks at a buck and for the life of me, I don't know who in the world sticks with it. Uh, question uh, about the TLT. And uh, yeah, I got a lot of emails about reefer madness out here. Um, TLT, um, I talked about it early in the morning. I think it's going to 122, but first it's probably going to bounce. Uh, you got about 22 million shares compared to the previous low on March 18th, 2021, that had 27 million shares. So maybe you're going to just sneak in with lighter volume. Uh, but I think a lot of people are betting today that the Fed is not going to raise rates. And for the life of me, I think they're wrong. I think 
you know, we've seen, I think there's a little bit of the, the boy who cried wolf uh, before. Uh, and how many falls in a row did Powell say he was going to raise rates and then fold like a $5 suitcase? Um, I think a lot of people just, uh, we have come down for a while. When it did before, back here, what was it, uh, uh, to, to, to back on the 22nd, I told everybody that I would pretty much, you know, I gotten where I wanted to be, and I covered my, I had a fairly long-term short, I didn't have it in the newsletter, uh, but I've been talking about TLT coming down for forever, but I just didn't think, it, you know, as many times as, uh, as uh, they can uh, fool you in this one, and the Fed would be doing it eventually you knew it was going to get down to this level um we'll see the volume by the end of the day in the tlt but it's kind of what i look at for the bonds what you don't have to like is just the enormous amount of energy off this december 3rd high of uh, the end of last year um yeah could you bounce up to 136 but then i think you're down to 122 and probably going to 100 in the next year once these things get going, either up or down, they continue to just go insane. <laughs> okay. Uh, little Roadrunner talk in the uh, den here. Okay, uh, we, we didn't look at Microsoft, did we? It's down half a percent. Uh, again, this is at extremely strong resistance um could you get to 207 208 you could maybe we get there but it's i think we're pretty close to uh it may being one of the few stocks that does a little wet better on monday i'm looking for a downturn uh fairly strongly uh come monday morning or monday afternoon somewhere in there um everybody just keeps on uh whistling past the graveyard uh, <laughs> uh, no, you are not, Mr. Hand and Hips. Okay. Do, 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 do. Uh, okay. But what can you do? I'm a libertarian, so, you know, whatever you want to do is fine as long as it doesn't bother me. Uh, I just, what I can't get past on marijuana right now is this going to any corner during rush hour and being overwhelmed by the smoke smell you know that they're doing that in the car and i put a bunch of money in and i didn't get any out but i would do it again and that is to make a same thing as a breathalyzer for marijuana i think that i would just retire with a billion dollars if everybody could instantly breathalyze people when they're driving around now and uh, get it but uh yeah the only test is invasive and the supreme court said that it is not legal uh to go that invasive so yeah you're much better off smoking weed than uh having uh, or doing any uh drinking alcohol but i don't think it makes it any better i'm a libertarian do it all you want just not in a car Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, two, two, two. Okay. Uh, question about the SMHs. Uh, UMC. Ooh, thanks. Blast from the past. Uh, and we know who you are. Still have a... Uh, a uh, Yahoo email address after all these years. But uh, that's it. Uh, United Microelectronics uh, has made a low, bounced a little bit, but just in a trading range from uh, that low of $8.55 to $9.57. And you're just going sideways. I don't think that there's much out here in this, but uh, when we come back, we'll... Uh, investigate during the break and uh, see if there's anything more out here.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN. Also, a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Well, as we return... Nothing like uh, marijuana to uh, get emails. We've gotten them out here and a request for. Hey, out here. We, yep, uh, nothing like a ton of emails. Uh, probably the most interesting comment is do you think these uh, weed stocks can now run into 420? That would be April 20th for you folks that are not in the weed business, but that's their uh, it's like Independence Day for it. Something like that. Hard to know. Um, I don't know. I don't follow it close enough. Uh, question, I've got about 10 or 15 of these emails, which makes me worry. And that is they all want to uh, short uh, ARKK uh, and Kathy Wood uh, with the SARK that everybody's doing. That makes me worry. Generally, when everybody has the same idea, not a big thing. Question about the NVIDIA chart. You broke out yesterday with lots of volume. Uh, as long as you stay above uh, 269.20, um, it's actually a good sign out here. Uh, with all the people that are short this, even if the market goes down, it may hold up better than the market. Uh, just because uh, it's the normal punching bag, uh, along with AMD and others, on a daily basis of people pounding on it. Um, is the uh, is the PE high? Yes. Uh, is it probably worth a PE like that? It's hard to vote against all the stuff these guys are doing because uh, uh, they're they are making it happen. But uh, is it expensive? Yes, I do agree on that. But 
few stocks maybe be out, able to outrun the rest. And chip stocks, when they're doing stuff right, is like printing money. Okay. How do I see fund buying uh, playing out? I got the same email yesterday, uh, maybe by somebody else. But uh, I, you're not going to, uh, at least if you believe the Fed, they're not throwing money at the market. Although I've seen people say something earlier in the den today that refutes that. I'm going to look at it during the weekend. Uh, I have a feeling they're going to have to actually stand behind what they're doing. We'll see you Monday, same bat channel, same bat time. Remember to sell when you can, not when you have to.